Hello, my name is Attila Suc. I am a software engineer at Collabora and now I will speak from ZIP64 support in LibreOffice. First, what is this ZIP64 and why it's needed for us? Most of our documents are compressed with ZIP. The original ZIP file format was designed long ago. And as every application, ZIP2 have limitations. For example, the file size was stored in 32 bits. That means the biggest file it can compress is 4 KB. It was totally okay that time, as our hard drive was smaller than 4 KB, so our files were smaller than 4 KB too, then <coughs> it would be a waste of memory if you would store the file size uh, in bigger variables. But as the technology advanced, we reached some of these limitations. For example, uh, there are many files now that is bigger than 4 GB and if we want to be able to compress it with zip, well, we had to, uh, not we, they, had to extend uh, zip format. And this zip, zip 64 is the extension which uh, extend the file size to not just that there are many other things that, that is extended but maybe that is the most important for us <coughs> fortunately the zip file format was designed uh, in the very beginning to be uh, easily extended so there are many extensions for zip and one more note uh, why why do we need it? Because not just huge documents can be in zip64 uh, format. There are small files too that is saved in zip64 format and LibreOffice was not able to open those files just because it's in, other, in a newer format. <coughs> so what is this limitations, the extension? is extended. First, the most important is the uncompressed file size, which was at max uh, 4 GB uh, before the extension, and now it's so huge we can't see <laughs> when we will reach it. Maybe in the future we will reach, but never mind. So the uncompressed file size means the files which we want to compress. The second is the compressed archive size. Uh, it's similar to the previous, but it's, uh, it's harder to reach these limitations because when we compress uh, the files, they will be smaller, maybe a hundred times smaller, or it depends on the file, how it can compress. <coughs> it's less, less important for us now because uh, even the uh, uncompressed file size is hard to reach uh, uh, for gigabyte uh, with LibreOffice, but compressed archive size would mean uh, we we should uh, reach uh, the uncompressed size like uh, 40 uh, gigabytes. Uh, it extended the file count to uh, it's not really important for us uh, because uh, uh, it was uh, um, uh, 40, uh, 64 uh, thousand uh, files at max uh, and well if someone would insert a lot of small image for example <laughs> like uh, 100,000 then it could be a problem but it's very extreme if someone try to do that, he can put a uh, back ticket in Bugzilla, but I'd never seen a file that would even close to that point. Uh, another uh, extension is the discount. It's really not important for us. Uh, it's from all times when, uh, when we have floppy uh, disks and uh, uh, 
we had to uh, copy bigger files than it fit in a copy uh, in in the floppy disk. So uh, zip was had a feature, uh, still has the feature that it can split uh, the zip archive into multiple parts. So we can uh, copy those smaller parts into the disks. Uh, our document is always in one part, so uh, the LibreOffice code doesn't even handle this uh, variable, it just simply skips and thinks that we have one file anyway. There are even some more uh, limitations, but they are even less important for us. <coughs> but uh, uh, so it means uh, the only thing which is important, which can be important for us, is the first, the uncompressed file size. It's even hard, even now it's hard to reach. But if someone make a huge database in Calc, they may can generate uh, a, a content XML file that is bigger than four gigabyte which may be just a uh, 100 megabyte sized uh, zip archive but still it can be used uh, it, it could not be used uh, in the old LibreOffice <coughs> where are these data stored in the zip archive before we could answer this let's check how a zip file looks like zip archive built from smaller parts uh, the standard named them as records some of these records start with a signature if we open a file with hex editor and we see it start with p and key letter and maybe we see other parts in the file where it's, it has p and key then there is a good chance it's a zip file one interesting thing about the zip uh, file that uh, we have to start reading it from the end at first we have to read the end of central directory record it's a fixed size record and it contains information about the size of the central directory after that we can see it back to the beginning of the central directory and we can read the whole central directory where there are other informations about the files uh, the file headers have informations about those files uh, where they start uh, from the uh, in the a zip archive uh, this example what i wrote here is a simple uh, basic uh, uh, zip archive it doesn't uh, contain uh, every uh, part uh, i mean there are more kind of records in a zip archive usually i just uh, wrote here only what is important for us and the files are uh, in the beginning of the uh, zip archive uh, uh, af one after each other <coughs> uh, these files are uh, can they can be uh, uh, folders uh, directory to not just files uh, the local file header contains some information about the file how big it is what its name uh, the file data uh, record uh, is the actual uh, file data it may be compressed or may not the data descriptor uh, it's not uh, needed usually it's it's rather for streaming uh, 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 purpose <coughs> uh, so there are uh, records that 
may present in a zip archive or may not present in a zip archive. Uh, it's depending on other uh, data that we uh, read in the we can read in from the zip archive. So <coughs> uh, the zip64 extension, uh, let's check which record was extended by this and which records are new. The extended records are this local file header, the file header, uh, this is uh, in the central directory and the data descriptor. And the new records are zip64 end of central directory record and zip64 uh, end of central directory locator. Uh, I don't implemented this last two, I implemented only the first three. When I say implement, uh, I mean I read value uh, from these. Uh, it does not mean I use all the values I read, just like as I mentioned the discount, uh, we don't need that data, so we just skip, but, uh, <coughs> but uh, at least I read uh, these data. Uh, the local file header and the file header uh, has a smaller part in it, the extra field. It uh, is present in the uh, original zip format too but uh, uh, it can uh, contain uh, many things and the uh, zip64 uh, extension uh, gives a new kind of extra field what we can write in this extra field. One important thing is that uh, if uh, this zip64 thing is uh, not one property for the entire archive. Uh, I mean uh, every record uh, can be uh, separately uh, in zip64 mode or not in zip64 mode. Uh, it, it can be senseless sometimes but uh, uh, for example the uh, if we have one file in a zip archive uh, and, and it, its file size is stored in the zip archive, it can be stored in three different places. It can be it's stored in the local file header, it's stored in the file header, and if we have a data descriptor, then it's stored there too. Uh, the same data is stored in three places, but uh, we can save uh, one of them in zip64 mode and save one other in the original uh, zip mode. <coughs> so let's check this uh, extra field and its parent, the local file header. Local file header start with signature, then version, flex, compression method, time and date of last modification, checksum, compress side, uncompressized. Uh, these both are uh, uh, stored in 4 bytes, so they cannot be weaker than 4 gigabyte. Then the length of the file name and the length of the extra field. Uh, then the actual file name and the actual extra field. In many cases, this extra field is uh, is not exist. I mean, the length of the extra field is zero. Uh, <coughs> the uh, uh, file header in the uh, central directory seems uh, similar to this that have. This, uh, the same uh, data and a lot of more too so I just 
do this here because it's uh, more simple uh, <coughs> so uh, the standard uh, states that if the uh, file size is bigger than 4 GB then we will have to write uh, the maximum uh, variable the maximum number we can write into the uncompressed size uh, and uh, in the extra field we will have to write uh, a zip 64 extra field where the uh, uncompressed size will be present uh, and the standard also says in the other states in the other directions too that uh, if the compressed sized or or end the uncompressed sized equal to the maximum uh, number uh, can be uh, present in that field then the real value uh, is in the extra field we have to uh, read that from them uh, I wrote these question marks there because it's a funny thing that the standard is not clear here. Uh, I mean, uh, it just lists compressed size and uncompressed size uh, under each other, and then it starts to write this uh, uh, statement. Uh, it doesn't mention that both of them has to be this special value or it's enough if one of them have a uh, special value <coughs> but anyway in the extra field there will be both of them present so let's check the extra field the extra field is an array it's not just one value we can have many extra uh, field data in it in general case extra field have uh, a two byte long id a two byte long size and an extra data that is as long as the size uh, in zip 64 case the id is one the size is well it's it should be 28 but it's sometimes smaller than that and there is the uncompressed sized and the compressed sized in 8 byte and there are two more fields that is not important for us now uh, that is an again that is again a strange thing in the standard it doesn't mention that this can be smaller it doesn't even mention that it has to be 20 byte it just lists what kind of fields are there and that's all you cannot be sure that what can you expect how files can be seen but as i seen some files uh, uh, only have uh, 16 bytes long data uh, from the zip 64 i mean it's enough uh, to have the uncompressed size and the compressed size well it's it's a strange thing that the standard doesn't forbid it doesn't mention it and the next thing is data descriptor it's rarely rarely used and it's designed for fine streaming normally it has uh, uh, four uh, field with four each of them are four bytes big but here is again a not clear thing that the signature is there or not there the standard says uh, normally it does not need a signature but many uh, application write a signature here so you can expect there will be a signature there or maybe not <laughs> but there were and the 
here the uh, compressed size and the uncompressed size is important for us uh, in case if we are in zip 64 mode then these fields are not 4 byte long but uh, 8 byte long uh, it's again not totally clear uh, if uh, uh, when are we in zip 64 mode I decided to uh, get this information from the uh, file header in the central directory uh, because in the local uh, file header uh, the mm, file size uh, can be uh, another uh, special value in some cases uh, especially uh, when data desktop is used so uh, the standard uh, um, it's designed to be well expandable it's a very good thing that there are uh, many spots in the uh, standard in the um, zip archive uh, where we can insert our own special data if we want and if we do it in the right way we can read it back to <coughs> the standard doesn't really forbid a lot of things it, it's written in the name to uh, they allow almost everything to us uh, what is possible uh, I think they designed it to uh, uh, support anything what we uh, uh, can imagine uh, it even uh, allows uh, senseless things like I said that uh, we can uh, store a file in half uh, in uh, zip 64 mode and half in not zip, stick zip 64 mode but well if something someone is stupid then his own fault. <coughs> uh, this file format is commonly used. There is many extensions. For example, the uh, extra field that I mentioned, there are many type of uh, extension there. Uh, many companies made their over extensions. Uh, <coughs> and it's very complex uh, there are many special cases it supports like encryption compression stream split spell self extract and uh, even these can be very complex uh, when uh, i said encryption uh, well we can choose to encrypt all the files or just some of the files uh, we can choose to encrypt uh, the uh, central directory uh, to hide uh, file names from other peoples uh, and we can even choose encryption methods how to encrypt uh, files uh, <coughs> and uh, the standard is not exact it's it can be a problem uh, sometimes uh, when I uh, when we uh, read the standard we not sure what we can expect uh, uh, what we have to try to read uh, it was funny to read in the standard that uh, originally there was no uh, signature but uh, many people use it so be prepared for it <coughs> and well that's the hard part of it uh, it's hard to prepare for every use case uh, we have to try to imagine what other people would try to use uh, especially the special cases which we would think that it, it's it's a stupid example but but sometimes uh, uh, some applications do it anyway I mean there are applications that that save uh, uh, zip files in zips 
64 mode even if it's a small file and we have to uh, prepare for them also and uh, then the uh, test case uh, I wrote a unit test uh, for it uh, with, with uh, a small zip64 file um, just as I mentioned before that <laughs> some application took that but it was good for us uh, but for the real test uh, to make a, a zip file that has a bigger than 4 gigabyte uh, file inside of it uh, it was even a challenge uh, even to create such a test file and uh, I was able to test it only manually because uh, unit tests have to be fast and it's really slow uh, it was several minutes just to import such a uh, file and uh, uh, when it was in when I was in debug mode it was uh, like uh, 40 minutes so <laughs> it's not usable that way <coughs> uh, and about the future possibilities uh, I only implemented uh, the way to uh, use uh, the, uh, the uncompressed size and uh, <coughs> uh, uh, we could uh, uh, implement the compressed size limitations too if needed it's part, uh, partially implemented uh, because I load this uh, information uh, and I changed uh, this value into uh, 64 bits but uh, it's not enough there are some other parts that uh, store information related to it um, we should uh, load the new uh, records uh, I mean the zip64 end of uh, central directory record and uh, locator <coughs> and the other hard point is that uh, we should uh, make sure that all the uh, uh, variables and classes are the storage space uh, where this information goes through they, they will be 64 bit compatible I mean even if there is just one variable that is uh, smaller than that uh, uh, um, just a function parameter or something uh, or, or what's return value I, if we copy a bigger value into this variable then it will be crop and uh, probably the uh, LibreOffice will crash uh, I had to uh, fix many of or several of these uh, problems uh, why I implemented the uncompressed size uh, and if anyone want to uh, uh, do uh, uh, check this I, I uh, listed some of uh, some code pointers here uh, some functions uh, which read the central directory or write the central directory and which uh, uh, <coughs> uncompress uh, I think that's all and thank you